Okay guys, you wanted to learn how I make my custom cards for Barcode Brawler. Just to know, here's the front. And then, here's the back side. This is actually probably going to be a pretty long process and hopefully not too terribly boring. But I'll show you all the links and all the stuff I use to make my own cards. Hey guys, Alana here. I'm just going to show you what I do to make my custom barcode cards. It's really hard to find anything online on what to do. I had a lot of issues, so it took a lot of experimentation. So hopefully I can give you guys an idea of what you can do. Uh, first thing you need to do that I just found is really useful. It's called the UPC Item Database. So the website address is upcitemdb.com and this lets you look up barcodes for anything pretty much so you don't have to scour Google images looking for the barcode on each single game that you want to use that's what I was doing before and it was kind of a pain in the butt because it's hard to find clear pictures of the barcodes to use and this site seems to have pretty much everything and you can also choose between the American version or European Europe, eh, I can't talk European or the Japanese version my barcode battler is the Japanese system. It took me forever to figure out why. When I tried scanning stuff around the house, or like my American games, or Canadian I guess, why it wasn't working. And then I realized that there's two different barcodes. Where I live there's 12 numbers, and in Japan theirs has 13. So once I tried using the Japanese UPC codes, then it worked fine. So you just have to figure out um, Oh, root warning. Um, which your system is, and this will make it way easy to look up. And then once you have that, you're going to want to use a free online barcode generator. So once you have the number, you can just type it right in the box, and it'll pop up a custom barcode. You're going to want to save this. You just right click Save As, and we're going to be putting these on the backs of our cards to use. So the first thing I'm going to do, since some people suggested some games they wanted to see, let's do Double Dragon. And since mine's a Japanese one, I'll just search Famicom. And it'll give you a whole list of ones that match. So Double Dragon 1, and there's the number. 4968947920026. So I'm just going to write this down. I guess you could just copy and paste or open a document on your computer. I just find it easier just to write it down. I guess I just like keeping notebooks full of papers. Uh, let's see, I'll write these down. Okay, and then the other one I'm going to look up, since I'm here anyways. I'm going to look up River City Ransom. Or I guess it's Renegade in Japan. So, whichever works. It should pop up, hopefully, for both. Uh, let's see. Uh, the top one there. It's 496-894-792-0019. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my barcode generator. And I'm going to type my numbers in here. So, let's do double dragon first. Four nine six eight nine four seven nine two zero zero two six. Then you just hit refresh, and it'll pop up with your code right on the right hand side here. So let's right click, save it as. If you're smart, you would have. Oh, what the heck? Save image. There we go. That's what we wanted. I'm going to have a folder on my desktop called barcodes. I usually do this on my other computer, but I don't have the capture device on there, so I have to re make a new folder on this computer. Let's do barcode. Okay. Okay, that was double dragon. To hear if my kids are harassing the cat in the background. Just please ignore that. 
They really like her, but they bug her a lot. Okay, so, and then River City Ransom. That was 496, 894, 792, 0019. Okay. Let's save this one. River City Ransom. Okay, so I use Photoshop to make my cards. It's probably, well, mainly because I've been using it since about 2005. So I'm just really used to it. Um, you can use any kind of graphics program you want. I don't, I'm sure there's some free ones out there, but I've had this one for so long I'm just used to using it. Um, I have made my own custom template. I just scanned the back of one of the cards I had already. And then I just made a new text layer that I just keep putting on top. So I just covered the back card's name. Um, I just copied and pasted a chunk of the card, like the background here. And then I just changed the text. So let's do River City Ransom first. You can use any font you want. I just like using the 8-bit style one. Because I love retro stuff. And spelling helps. Um, it's a little bit bigger. Mm, that should work. And then I just open my barcode. Desktop. Okay, so the first thing I do, um, since I saved it from the internet, it'll only be 72 DPI. So I want to make it as high quality as possible because when you print it off, for the barcode you need really crisp lines. So we're going to go to want to go to a hundred, uh, three hundred DPI. Okay, and since it's a GIF, I have to just cut this and I'll paste it in. The bars are nice and clear. The numbers aren't, but it doesn't matter because you don't need the numbers. You just need the bars themselves. So let's see, let's just cut this out. Minimize this. Okay, let's paste this on top and then I'll adjust the size. I just try to match the size of my barcode with the one that was on the original card. So it gives me an idea of how much, like size wise, that the reader needs. Um, So this all takes, you get a lot faster once you do it a few times. It's going to be a lot of work at first though it seems. Um, once you make your own templates and stuff though, it'll go way faster. Okay, we'll get rid of that old one. And we'll just move this down. Um, the whole height of the barcode doesn't have to be there. It's just as long as there's a chunk big enough for the barcode brawler or the battler to read. And then you don't need the numbers. And as long as you have white space, I'm going to set mine to print to my laser printer because I know it'll keep my lines a lot more crisp. I tried with my um, my bubble jet printer and it wasn't nearly as clear. So I just do the backs on my laser printer and then they end up getting glued on to the photo paper that I used for the fronts. So I always do the backs first though because I like scanning them through the the console itself to see if they actually work or if they're going to be like a warrior or an item because if it's an item I will label the front of the card accordingly I'll put it that as an item so then that way like when other people are trying to use it they're not assuming that it's a warrior because I know with um, Super Mario Kart it was an item and it wasn't actually a warrior so it doesn't work okay so I'll save this I'll set this to print Not my this one. It's just black and white, so I don't bother. I don't have to use color. I just need the barcode, and I just need it to be nice, clear lines. So just print that.
And once I run it through the Barco Battler, and I know it's a warrior, oh, there goes the printer, then I'll know if it's worth making the front. Some Barcos don't work at all, though there's hardly any that don't work at all, but there's the odd one. And uh, if it's an M, then I can customize the front. So I'll just go check out on the barcode thing and see if we have a warrior or an item. Okay, now it's time to test our barcodes and see if they work or if they're warriors or what's going on. So we'll just go to the normal mode. Um, I made a couple of different barcodes, but River City Ransom, that's the one we just printed off. I just cut off the bottom here. So we'll just try sliding it through. Let's see if it... Hmm. Okay, I might not scan that right. Hmm. Okay, that might be an item. Let's try... I print off a couple other ones and see. Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. From the movie. Yes, I know. It'll beep at you if you do it wrong. Should tape this down. Hmm. I'm just having bad luck today. Okay. Um, not either. How about Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure on the Nintendo? Let's get stuck. Yes, I know. So tricky. And nope, not that one either. Really? Uh, Blades of Steel. Try that one. Okay, so out of four, we've only had one. Uh, I'll try these again. Nope. Okay, so only one out of the four is actually a warrior. So let's try and see if they're items then. Um, I'll just scan this one again. Okay, let's see. Okay, now it's asking for an item, so I'll try the River City Ransom one and see if it works. Yep, it's an item. So, uh, let's try... Yep, and that one's an item too. So, I'm just going to have to look and see online if there's maybe a different barcode for another version of the game, because then I could try that. But it's really, if you can't find one, then they're just going to have to be items then. Okay, so since we only got one fighter out of that batch of four, um, I might as well just show you how to do the front of the card with the Blades of Steel one. I'll have to see if I can find different barcodes for the other items in the other games to see if I can find another warrior. So I'll show you. We'll go back to the computer and we're going to have to do some Google image searching. Okay, so Blades of Steel was their only fighter out of that batch. So for now we'll just make the card, the front of the card for that. Um, always just go to Google image search. It's the easiest thing. Um, I'll just look up the Nintendo game. Um, maybe I'll just use, let's see, box art's usually the easiest thing. Or that could work too. I should always make sure it's big enough so it's not all pixelated. Mm, this should work. Since it's going to be rectangular, 
part of, I'll probably get just part of the um, hockey guys fighting here, but that's okay. Um, save my image. It can go in the barcode file, that's fine. Then maybe I'll do this one too, just in case. It might actually work better since it's in rectangular format already. Okay, it's fine. I also have pre-made templates for the front of the cards too. Um, I could just also throw it on top of here. It'll be the exact same size as the back, which might be just as easy. Um, though I usually print off multiples at a time to save paper. So, just show you my sheet for that. Okay, it's going to be in downloads. You can tell I don't use this computer nearly as often as my other one. And documents. There we go. You see my amazingly cluttered and messy folders. Mm -hmm. I really should move the files beforehand, but oh well. Um, let's see. There's me. Goombas, random pictures. Yeah, this one. Okay, this is how I set up the front page. It's just like your normal 8.5 by 11. But I can fit eight cards on there at once. That way I don't waste very much photo paper. Um, so, I usually just work on the card front file and then I just drag and drop it onto my master sheet there. Um, front number two, let's see. What actually? Oh yeah, card up front. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, I have Holy Dive in there from last time. Um, let's open our file, our image. This tab. Let's see if we can fit. If possible, I try to make them look like the box art. That way people have really familiar with it. Oh, that one's going to be kind of small, I think. Let's see. The first thing I'm going to do is trap those grids. It's really annoying for this. Um. Okay. Oh. You hold down shift and then it keeps it all in exact shape. Well, that's actually not too bad considering the box art on the front is actually artwork, so it'd be a lot more noticeable if it was a photo, but since it's not, actually it should work quite well. Okay, so I always select the layer below whichever one's the right shape. Um, I'm gonna bump it down a little bit. Make sure nothing gets cut off. So that actually works. So I'll cut that. And then I will just paste it right on to my blank cards front. It's already the right shape, the right size. Drag it into the right spot. And then once I have the page full, I have a bunch of other ones I want to make. And then I'm going to print them off high quality onto glossy photo paper. I find this works the best for the cards because then on the back I'm going to glue the plain sheet of paper that has the barcode and then we're going to laminate it. And that's a good 
nice thick paper to use for the barcode battler itself because then you don't have to worry about the papers bending and you don't have to worry about them getting destroyed when you put them in the card sleeve. Okay, now I have the eight cards done and they're ready to print. So I'm going to go file, print, okay, with my Canon, which is my color printer. Um, wireless, page setup, photo printing, because I want really good quality. Borderless, uh, glossy photo paper. Hi. Eight and a half by eleven, and we should be good to go. And once this is printed off, we can cut them out, and on the back we're going to glue the barcode. And then, once the barcodes are glued on, and then we're going to run it through the laminator. Okay, now we have the front of the cards printed off, and we have the back of the cards. So I'm going to use my paper cutter to make this faster, and so you can make some nice straight lines. Could just use normal scissors, but since I have this anyways, might as well. Cut these really quick, try to keep them as straight as possible. Paper back. Okay, so now we're at the last part. My laminator is heated up. Green lights on. Uh, I just got it at Walmart. Same with these slate sheets. Glossy ones. Let's see here. Can we just I usually try to do six to eight because I don't want to waste the paper, but I only have five for right now, so that'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Just so I can show you guys how this works. into each other and slide. Okay, and then I just grab them. Yeah, they're super cheap to grab a laminator. I just, at Walmart, I think it was like 40 bucks or something like that. Or maybe even less now. I got a few years ago. And out it comes. And then after this, all that's left is to cut them out again for like the third time. But then you're done and they're ready to use. Let's see here. So there's the front. And there's the back. So all I have to do is cut them and you're good to go. So hopefully you guys found this useful. If I missed anything or if anything wasn't clear, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer any questions you guys might have. Have a good night and make sure you like and follow for more videos. Thank you!